Now, a couple of weeks ago, we did a video on the channel where I created a Wonderkid 11 that I paid just under 10 million pound for as a challenge. And we went through and we had to take players away and add players in. Well, seeing as I hate myself so much, I decided to give this a go with just five million pound budget. Can I do it? Well, we have the added rules as well as that I can't use any players from the previous 10 million pound video and I can't use any clauses that will bring the cost of these players down. Outright money only. That gives me just around 450k per player for a wonder kid on FM21 on average. This is going to be difficult. A question I'd like you to answer in the comments for me before we begin is whether or not there is a Wonder Kid that you go to sign in every single new save that you start. And of course, who is it? Let me know down in the comments. Now, with this challenge, I think we may see in certain positions I'll struggle, namely that right back, because there just isn't any around. So we may have to change up formation. See, I'm thinking of three at the back, but let's start with a man who I know won't cost me too much money at all to eat into my five million pound budget and in fact he won't even cost me a penny his name is Amin Esahal. We've done a Wonder Kid spotlight on, on him. He's 17 years of age from Morocco. And because he comes from this team here, which is Morocco's academy team, who don't really play in a league or anything, they just base themselves on building Wonder Kids for Morocco, I guess. You can pick him up for a free transfer. You literally just offer them no money whatsoever and you take them from them which is amazing for the fact that he has 160 current ability as well. And at the end of this video, whoever we manage to get for five million pound will show you at their maximum. OK, so don't go anywhere throughout the video. Don't skip to the end. It's going to be a journey. Roll with me. Because, like I mentioned, there may be situations where during this I have to take players out that I've decided to put in and it becomes very frustrating and you can enjoy my pain. Now, another man I know that I can rely on not taking too much of that budget and still under the average is Jean Ingesa. Now, this man, 17 years of age, I signed him for my Holstein Kiel Youth to Gold save and he was fantastic for me. And I know you can pick him up for a very reasonable cost. You can find him in the Ivory Coast. Like with Asahel, you have to have African players loaded, whether that be the clubs that they're at or what. I mean, 275K, can we bring you down? 250 15. I hate this. 220. 220. The friendly, that's fine. Now, for some reason, Braga have this player, Rodrigo Gomez, who has a very good potential range. And you wait to see how good he is at the end. He is fantastic um, when he is set to his maximum. We, I've seen him at his maximum a few times. He is phenomenal. Now, I know for a fact that he is ridiculously cheap on this game. Uh, and in f oh, let's go for 100k. So like 550. I know we won't be spending that. 370? 300. 300 is rejected. Let's try 325. Accepted. 325k is not bad at all, considering this guy has a great potential. And at 17, he already looks like quite a big deal indeed. The right-handed player as a winger can be fantastic. On the left-hand side, he can also play there too. Cuts inside. Very talented Portuguese player. Now, a man who I'm not sure the cost of, but I would love to get into this team to play on the left-hand side is Shola Shoretire. It's a Manchester United under-18s guy. I think he won like under-18s player of the year or under-21s player of the year for Manchester United in real life recently. And I've never seen how much he costs. If he could be less than... If he could be less than 500k, that would be great. It's 51 million. Am I just stupid thinking that I could get this guy for, for, a, for a cheap cost? I seen his value as 91k and I thought, I'm going to take a chance. And that chance did not pay off because apparently they want 51 million pound. I'm not surprised. It is Manchester United. I also went to try Adam Hlozet because I remember him being really cheap last year and I did notice that he now plays predominantly on the left-hand side, cuts, cutting inside on his right foot. But I've just seen he is already valued at £3.2 million, so obviously that cannot be done either. 
So let's have a shot at this Romanian kid that we found in a previous video. 17 years of age, Octavian Popescu plays for FCSB, formerly uh, Stau Bucharest when that broke up and all that tobacco. But he plays on the left-hand side, cutting inside on his right foot. He tries tricks. He has some good player traits. Very well-rounded uh, winger at the start of the game. Has a good potential range again of... Uh, all of these, by the way, are going to be a minimum of 160, okay? Minimum range of 160. Anything less, I don't really consider a wonder kid. But I think, I mean, I think in the previous video, I have noted here, we picked him up for about 450. We try 400 there. We cannot get him for 400. 450. We're just going to have to go for 450 for Octavian Popescu, which takes our total now up to 995. So just under a million pound and we have four players already it's a good start so i think we can spend a little bit of money and i'm just trying to spell this correctly here he is louise carbonell a 17 year old striker who i think you can get for just less than a million pounds he has a great potential as well and what i really like about this guy is when he's set to his maximum he just has such good attribute distribution he has a minimum fee release clause of one million pound can we get him for less than that 500k they want one point for 1.1 1.1 is accepted so that brings our total to 200 and no, 2 million sorry and 95k is 1.1 a little bit too much we'll see we'll see because we we've got a lot of positions still to fill so a goalkeeper then last episode that we did on this we looked at we spoke about maybe charlie setford uh who is an englishman playing in the netherlands for ajax he has a good potential as well how much did they want oh, this is where we could come on stuck 950k is quite a lot for a goalkeeper okay let's not go for him then let's not add him to the bank let's go for another one Gasparini now a lot of people have told me about Gasparini he plays for Udinese there he is Manuel Gasparini uh, great moustache 18 years of age good starting attributes as well 6'3 is he worth a lot that's our problem um, can we get him for 500k Okay, Gasparini's off the table because 5 million, 5.5 million is already over budget. What about there is a young Brazilian? I think he plays for Santos. No, it's Corinthians. It's Mateus Danelli. 18 years of age, 19k. Has a 2.1 minimum fee release clause for the uh, domestic league only. Are you willing to part with him? No, 2.8 million pound. Right, now, I'm gonna think there's a couple of them in the Dutch league. I need to try and find, believe it's Owusu, and I'm not sure what the rest of his name is. That's him, Rome Jaden Owusu Aduro. It's a mouthful, but my God, as he got a dashing smile, uh, he's won the hearts of all of us already. Well, it costs a lot of money though, that's the problem, 500K, 550, 600k for Rome Jaden. 600k in the bank. Now, a centre back then, Milovanovic. Let's have a look at him then. For Ajax, so he, they could try and rip us off. Uh, 250k, what they said, 1.5 million which means he's probably, yeah, less than a million pound. That's too expensive, so we won't go for him. However, we're going to stay in the Netherlands because there are a few. We used Timo Zal in the last one. He would have been perfect for this because he is cheap, but there is also playing for Pexwall, Rav Vandenberg, 16 years of age. Again, a good potential and doesn't have a, a only he's on a youth contract. I think if we can possibly go for about that, Let's move it down. Four, six, six, seven, five. Six, seven, five. That's an acceptable amount. We'll, we'll, we'll take him. He's in the bank. He's in the squad. Let's go. Rav Vandenberg. Now, with our total of around about just under 3.5 million and still a few players left, uh, I'm going to try and go a little bit cheap here and go for Wisdom Ubani, who is a great player, has fantastic potential. Ignore what he looks like now, because even though he is 41k, you can pick him up for roughly about 50, maybe a little bit more than 50k, 50k on the nose. You see when he's at his maximum, he's a phenomenal striker for the price that you're going to pay. A money ball transfer, you might say, because you just sell him on for profits 
even though you may never even use them. Right, let's go for another centre-back then. This one that I want to try and see what he looks like. Kaiki, 16 years of age. He's a cheeky chappy. He's got his tongue poked out there. Santos, under 20s. 16 years of age. He's worth £400. So surely they're not going to try and rip us off then. I mean, let's offer 20k. Let's see. 2.1 million. Are you aware of how cheap this guy is? He looks quite good, to be fair. I'm curious, but I cannot offer that much money. What about Ravel Tagir? Is a Turkish centre back. He's 17. He's already worth 550k. I didn't realise that. I didn't realise how good he was. That's not what I wanted to select. This is what I wanted to select. Taking away these, it, they're going to want a lot of money, aren't they? 4.5 million. Okay, Ravel Tagir is not an option. But I'll tell you who might be an option is Leon King. Now, Leon King is Scotland's future at centre-back. Again, he is an approach to sign player for Rangers. Let's see how cheap we can get this guy for potentially 500k. 675k is quite a lot of money. Can we just get a little bit cheaper than that? 575k, I'm happy with that. That actually takes our total to roughly about £4 million right now. And I am thinking... Four million pound and we have two players left is just not viable. We might have to get rid of Luis Carbonell. So let's take that 1.1 million pound for Luis Carbonell out because we still need a defender and we still need another midfielder. I've got a man that I know I can replace him with. Fernando Ovala, can we get him for about 600, 625k, there we go, 625k for Fernando Ovala, that's a good replacement for Luis Carbonell and probably still the same amount of good player because he has good attribute distribution, so that takes our total to just under 3.5 million pounds, so let's have a look then at the, uh, the other centre back and I left this guy to last knowing that if we needed a player for roughly about this much money we could go for Namdi Collins. He has a potential range of 170, meaning he will be one of the highest on this list. Uh, 770 there, 750, let's do a deal, 750k. I'm happy with that for Namdi Collins. Right, so we still need a centre midfielder because I'm going to go for a 3-5-2. We've got two wingers, we've got two strikers, two centre midfielders and three centre backs. I think we aim for... This centre midfield role, oh, 600k. We haven't got a lot of money, to be honest. We only have roughly about 700 to 800k. Mm, absolutely not. He has gone up a lot in price since the most recent time we've done a video on him. What about Torben Rien then? I think he plays for Bayern Munich, which could be the problem. 7.25 million. You do understand in January, I can pick him up for free, right? That's how easy this would be because he isn't signing a new deal. He would be a very good player for us. 170 potential range again. Ah, good, right. So last video, I did mention a young man by the name of Alfie Devine. He is going to be our saviour because Alfie Devine is also out of contract, kind of. He has a youth deal. However, you can pick up Alfie Devine for a very, very cheap price. I think it's about 700. 700 straight away. We've completed the challenge. That is fantastic. We are under £5 million for all of these players. So for just under the cost of a roughly about 4.8 to 4.9 million in that kind of ballpark range, it's definitely under £5 million though. We have a very good Wonder Kid 11 in a 352 formation. But how good are they, you ask, at their maximum potential? Let's take a look. So starting off in goal, then we have Rome Jaden Owuso Oduro. And we can see here when he's set to his maximum, some unbelievable goalkeeping attributes at his disposal. The only glaring weakness here, he has nine for agility, but he is six foot two already. Some decent mental attributes. This guy is very good. And of course, less than a million pound for a goalkeeper. Not bad whatsoever. Now the three centre-backs, let's start off with the Scottish player here for Rangers Leon King 16 years of age he can play across the back line as well either footed that's solid really which is really good for somebody who maybe plays a three in mid three at the back or even just to play on the left hand side if you don't have one really good player has decent passing ab ability with good vision as well very good positioning some of his mental attributes you might question eight anticipation quite low 13 for marking as well but other than that 
think he's quite solid. Remember as well, because this is a potential range, a lot of these attributes can fluctuate and change depending on your save to mine. So it might look similar to this, it might look better, but Leon King is a great start. Over to the Netherlands then with Rav Vandenberg, the 16 year old again, looks an absolutely solid centre back. Not the best mental attributes, a lot of 13s and 14s there. Some decent technical still, first touch, he's a bit of a free kick taker in this rendition. And the marking's low, but passing 16. Again, potential range, it could fluctuate between your saves and his physical attributes, which usually are rather similar in every single save. Good jump and reach, very good pace and great strength. He's 5'9 on this save. I doubt he's like that in every save. Hopefully he grows into a six foot plus centre back. Libero is highlighted here as something that you could potentially use because I mean, 13 finishing and 14 dribbling. Libero is also a good option for our final centre-back. Yes, Nandi Collins is a very good libero. He has great physical attributes other than that key attribute of strength there with 12. It's still not bad, but 12 you want to be higher for a centre-back. But 17 pace, 18 acceleration, great agility and balance. Some decent mental attributes as well, that fantastic positioning. He has 14 vision with 17 passing on his technicals. Really solid player. 17 heading, 17 passing, 17 tackling, 16 marking, even 17 first touch. A fantastic libero option for you. And again, another player who can play across that back line. He is preferred right-footed, but he can still play on a left-back role should you really desperately need him to. So the players in front of him then, we have Alfie Devine, 160. 70 potential range just like Namdi Collins. This guy's absolutely solid in like a box-to-box -box midfielder role. Some great attributes here including that tack on the 13 but going forward Dribbling, finishing, first touch, all absolutely solid. Bit of a free kick taker as well. Good at long shots. That passing obviously is a big highlight. Some great mental attributes. Fantastic physical attributes. This guy is solid, absolutely solid. In the Tottenham under 18s, raid Tottenham under 18s. Some really good players in there. Alfie Devine is a great pickup for you. Alongside Jean Ngesan, who I would say is more of a deep line playmaker. This is the role that I would like to use him in, in that centre midfield spot. Very composed, good decision makings, good passing abilities. The bottom half of his mentals are exceptional, good off the ball. Positioning of 18, which is why I like him in that deep line playmaker role because defensively, he always positions himself correctly as well as going forward. Remember, positioning is a more defensive one, off the ball is a more offensive one or attacking. Vision of 15, work rate of 15 means he's very good in that centre midfield role. His physicals aren't the best here, still a couple of 14s though and 15 for agility, again, which really suits a deep line playmaker, in my humble opinion. What do you make of Jean and Gessan? Have you ever used him? Is this the first time you've ever heard of him? Let me know down in the comments. Let's go to the left-hand side first then with Octavian Popescu. 160 potential range sees the player look like this when he is set to his maximum. Some decent technicals, exactly where you need them to be. The mental attributes are solid. A lot of 14s, some 13s there dipping in. But everything else is quite good. And on the physical department as well, some 15s, some 16s, and even a 17 there for stamina. Like we mentioned before, he has some decent player traits to begin with. Tries tricks, plays ball into feet, likes to beat the man repeatedly which means if you give this guy like runs the ball often, he could become really dangerous when he has the ball at his feet. He only has 13 uh, flair here, but I still think he can do a really good job for you though on that left-hand side if you have no other option and a very limited budget. So go over to Romania, see what he's like in your save and maybe pick up this man. Let's go to the right-hand side, Dan, and this player looks incredible in my opinion rodrigo gomez let's start with just with the technicals because this is exactly what you want for a winger the crossing dribbling finishing first touch and even free kick taking all green all 15 or above a couple of 16s and a 17 there passing a 14 as well which is great technique of 17 in the mental department you could play this guy as a striker if you retrain him as a striker he would even be just as good as what he is playing on the wing. Fantastic anticipation, composure, good decision makings, off the ball of 17 as well. Vision and work rate is up there in the greens. And then of course on the physicals, agility, acceleration and pace all on 16. Player traits, he has them to start off with. Give him some more. This guy could be a game changer. A great set piece taker as well as a little bit of sprinkle of specialness for this player. 
And playing just in behind the strikers is Amin Esahal. I really like this player in this cam role. And for a free transfer, when he gets to his maximum potential, if this is the player you're getting, what a player that is. A free transfer and you can sell him on for a huge price. So many great attributes for this player. So many different roles that you can try and train him in and utilize him in. This player is absolutely fantastic for you. A free transfer. You, ju you just pick him up in every save. Just pick him up in every save because it doesn't going to cost you any money. He's not going to be asking for a high wage and you can just turn him over for a profit no matter what or use him and he turns out like this and becomes the focal point of your attacks. Either way, it's a win-win situation. Load up Morocco in every single save you do and sign Amin Esahal. Let's move forward to that striker role then. Now, Fernando Avila, when we are set into his maximum in previous simulations, looks a lot better than this. I think some of his attribute distribution is letting down in this case. Because if we look at his physical department, 18 acceleration, 17 agility, that's good. But the rest of them, very low, like 10s and below and 14 for pace. The mental attributes, he has okay mental attributes where he needs them to be honest anticipation composure flair and off the ball an 18 vision maybe that's a little bit too high it could be distributed a little bit better here technical attributes he does look absolutely solid though although he has 17 crossing not really needed for a striker unless you're making him go into the channels i guess but he's left footed he has some good attributes nonetheless and a good potential for less than £1 million, Fernando Ovala, a Paraguayan player who you don't see very often. Remember, you have to load like Paraguay for him to, to appear. We've seen him look better than this, but we know what he is capable of, and that's why he makes this list. Plus, he was cheap enough for us to pick up. And finally then, we have Wisden Ubani. And like I mentioned before, for 50k, this guy is amazing, to be honest. It's between him and Esahal, who is the best value for money. Obviously, Esahal is no money, so it's probably going to be second place for Wisden Ubani. But I mean, 16s there for dribbling, finishing first touch, 16 for heading and technique. The anticipation, the composure, the decision makings and flair and off the ball. Everything that you need for a decent striker, he has it, 15 or above. And then, of course, physicals. Can he outpace his defenders? He has 15 acceleration, 16 pace with 16 agility and 15 natural fitness. This guy's going to be a nightmare to mark. 5 foot 10, either footed as well. Put some good player traits on him. Train him until he reaches like a player like this. And you're going to be very, very grateful that you decided to pick him up from Giant Brothers for 50k. So there we have it. That was a Wonder Kid 11 for £5 million. Now, that was a lot more harder than what I thought it was going to be when I did the £10 million one. I thought I could do a £5 million one easily. Uh, it turns out there is a very, very small pool of players that you can pick up that are Wonder Kids for less than 500 k Luckily, we managed to buy it and get them down to just enough. 4.8 to 4.9 million pound roughly in between that for a whole Wonder Kid 11. Even a couple of 170 players in there as well. What do you think of it? Make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Please, it really does help us in the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you very soon. And remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. We are en route to 20,000 subscribers. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.